and you guys are watching my channel. Maybe I should think before I talk. So maybe I should think before. Maybe next time I think before I talk. So today I'm going to be unboxing the G7X Mark 11. I think that's the difference between the old one we had because the old one was like all bad. It was all over the place and we had to get a new one but that one is currently repairing and now we're gonna have two because we vlog a lot and it's good if like Emily goes over here and I'm over here to have two cameras to vlog on so you guys get double the content so this is the mark 11 this is the mark 11 which I think is the difference between this one and the old one we had because this one is the one that my cousins Kane and Country Adventure have and it's kind of different than the one that we have. Well, the one that's in the repair shop right now. So, let's just see what's the difference. So, let's get into this. But before we get on to the video, the shout out goes to. And all of my social media will be on the screen. Also, links in the description down below. So, let's get unboxing. So, it has like a little thing at the bottom, which I have been playing around with. So, you just. Wait. There we go. <laughs> we were vlogging on the GoPro and the one that I'm currently filming on for a little while on the vlog channel. You guys didn't really like the quality. It was blurry and it wasn't that good. So we decided to get the Canon G7X and you guys needed good quality for the vlog. So we decided to get one and wow, the other one's still repairing. And if you guys are wanting to start a channel, I really recommend getting the G7X Canon because it's really good. All YouTubers have it. It's a very good vlog camera because it has a viewfinder. It's very lightweight and it's easy to bring anywhere. So I've actually never done this before because when my mom got the old one that's in the repair shop, she actually unboxed it by herself. It was actually a surprise to us. So I have never done this before. So it just has like this instruction manual that comes with all of the Canon cameras and also some of this stuff. I don't know what it is, but it just has some paperwork and stuff in there. And then it has the camera here. There's a little container right here, and I think this is what the camera is in. What? They put the camera in a container? Um, okay. And then they have the battery. It comes with a Canon battery, which is very important. Do not lose this. And also a battery charger, which is which is also important. We already have, I think, two of these or one of these. And we have a lot of these chargers because we vlog a lot and also we talk a lot, so the camera battery goes by so fast. And it also comes with this cord that you can attach to the camera to like put on your wrist. So that's all that's in this box. And when we went to Dominican Republic last year, like around this time actually, we went, yeah, we were actually at um, Dominican Republic at this time last year. And my mom left this in the room. So my mom left this with the battery in the room when we went to Dominican Republic and we didn't notice it until we got back home and we were like, oh no, we can't film now because there's nothing to charge the camera with. So do not lose this. You can buy it off of Amazon, but just don't lose it. <laughs> okay, let's get the camera. I'm excited because the quality on the old one that's in the repair shop was very bright. And my cousin's is kind of like orangey, so we, I want to see if this one's orangey. It's maybe just like they probably messed up the filter or something. But let's just see. Oh, it's so weird. I haven't had it like in this house for like a week because we it's been in the repair. Wait, you can't turn it on because it doesn't have a battery or a memory card. But does it come charged? I, let's check. I want to see if it actually comes charged. It should come charged. Let's see. So like there's a thing right here that just boop and the battery goes in here. Oh, that's not the way. Sometimes it like, you have to put it in a specific way or else it like doesn't go all the way down. So, yep, clipped in. It needs a memory card, but yep, it's on. Oh, we had to like set it up like the date and time, but we'll do that later. It has no memory card, but, oh, it's not orange. Whoa, it's actually good. Cause like the back of me is unfocused and then the front of me is focused. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't, oh, it looks so nice. And this one actually like this, the viewfinder comes out when R is just like stayed right here and just go up and down. 
well this one you can like pull out like this which I don't know what it's that for but <laughs> and then there's this little string and what this is it's just a string that you attach to the side of the camera so you can like hold it with your arms this is important because if you drop it it's easy like if you have it around your wrist so you put it through this little strap right here so you put it through go tiny tiny pull it through and then you um open it up and put it like that pull and now it's nice and secure and now you can hold your camera like this we don't really film with our camera like this without a tripod we usually use our tripod we have two tripods that we have used for a long time and this one is just like this it's not very good if you want to set it up because it's very short and also doesn't move that much it like you have to and it can't go down that much and not up. So like if you're sitting down, you can't really go all the way up. But this one's good if you're like going in public and you don't want something so huge and humongous. This one's very nice. And we have been using this one since before VidCon. So that's almost like two months since we've been using this one. And then we were using this one for almost like four months because it's jumbo and it's very easy to set up. Like you can go boom and like all the way down. It's very bendable, which is good to like set it up. It's expensive and it's very big. It's like $80 for one of these. And it's very bulky and big. And while this one is like very thin and easy to carry around, this one's lightweight, this one's very heavy. Like if you attach this to the camera, it's kind of big and bulky. And if you're gonna go in public, it's very hard to put this big jumbo one in like a purse or anything. So you have to like carry on a big backpack. But if you use that one, it's very, like nice and small so you can like carry it around anywhere so this is how it looks i haven't used oh the camera looks so small on this thing we have oh it's broken yeah we've had this for so long it's like falling apart it was good for a long time like look how small the camera looks but it's very nice and it's really good grip like you won't drop this because it has a very good grip and it's like whoa 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 <laughs> and this one is also very good but this one's small, and then this one, let's set this one up with the camera. This is the difference. This one's all the way down here, and this one's all the way up here. <laughs> There's a difference. If you have a channel, and you're not ready to make the investment in making the camera, a phone is totally fine. iPhones have okay quality on their cameras, but if you are ready to make the investment, or like if you have a birthday coming up or Christmas, it is an investment, but it's totally worth the money. So we have the other one that's in the repair shop for two years and it did not fail on us whatsoever. And we vlogged with that for two years. And also we filmed videos with it, but we had to get like the Canon one that you guys are currently on because it's very good quality for sit down videos. But if you're vlogging, this one is very good. And I really recommend it. It's very nice and small. And this broke. It's so wobbly. It was so stiff when you first got it, and now it's like Because bleh, 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 bleh. we had it for like two years. So if you guys really want to get a camera, this one is the way to go. That's it with the unboxing. If you guys want more technology stuff on this channel, just comment that down below. And what type of videos you guys want to see down below so I can get some video ideas <laughs> so bye guys hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what you guys want to see next and i'll see you guys next time i post every single wednesday by the way bye